Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Ben, and today I want to talk about glass. Specifically low iron glass. Glass that you might have the option of using on your fish tank when you order one. Um, for example, my fish tank is made by a company called AGE and it's a custom tank and when you're doing a large tank you have the option of normal glass or low iron glass. Low iron glass is clearer. It's uh, actually exactly the way it sounds. It has less iron oxide in it which makes it more optically clear, uh, especially if you look at it edgewise. It won't be sort of a bluish greenish haze like normal glass. So low iron glass is often called Starfire glass, but that's actually a brand name by PPG glass. It's also called ultra white, opto white, crystal clear, whole bunch of names. If you ask for it at your local tank manufacturer, just ask for low iron glass and any of those manufacturers have an option for it. As I mentioned before, the difference between low iron glass, uh, which is clear and like this, I can't see any difference when I look through it, and normal glass, which is like this, where I can see it get blue when I look through it, especially on the side, uh, the difference is that the low iron glass has a lot less iron in it than the normal glass. It actually has about 10% of the iron that normal glass has. Now, there's not a lot of iron in this to begin with. Um, all this kind of glass is made from silica sands, and those sands on average are only maybe 0.1% iron, which is enough to make it green like this. Uh, Low iron glass comes from sand that's found in the sort of, at least in the US, in the Wisconsin area, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and then sort of down towards Arkansas, um, is only 0.01% iron oxide. And the way they make glass is they melt all that silica, they add some proprietary ingredients to it to maybe make it harder, more scratch resistant, stuff like that. They melt it down and then they pour it onto a big container of molten tin. That's why it's called float glass. It's made by floating it on mo molten tin. And uh, of course, tin is a metal, it oxidizes, so they can't do it under normal air. So they do it under a nitrogen and hydrogen pressurized atmosphere so that the tin doesn't oxidize and then damage the glass. Um, but basically, they, they float the glass on this molten tin and then slowly reduce the temperature. And eventually, the glass is hard enough that they can sort of like pick it up off of the molten tin onto rollers. And then, you know, you're on your way to cutting it to whatever size you need. Now, Starfire glass is not any softer than normal glass or low iron glass intrinsically is no softer than normal glass. So you might see people complaining that it scratches easy or things like that. So far as I can tell, and by looking at the data sheets from manufacturers like PPG, uh, it's not the case. They claim that it's just as hard, just as structurally rigid, uh, you know, in terms of shattering and, and whatnot versus normal glass. But I think the thing is, it's much clearer. And any kind of imperfection and any kind of scratches are going to show up more on low iron glass than they would on normal glass just by it being so clear to begin with. Low iron glass is used predominantly, I think, in display cases, uh, certainly fish tanks, things like that, small things. It is about 10% more expensive than normal glass, so you're going to find that it is more expensive to get a fish tank with Starfire or low iron glass than it would be to do normal glass. I do think that it's worthwhile, especially if you have a larger tank. For example, I also have poison dart frogs. Uh, excuse the fact that this glass is covered in frog poop, but, um, well, they poop often. Um, this tank is only a 60 gallon cube and it doesn't have to hold water, so the glass is very thin. Because of that, this is just normal float glass. It's not low iron glass. And if we look at it edgewise, you can see that the glass is actually green if you look at it that way. But if you just look at it normally through the glass, you don't notice it because it's pretty thin. Thicker glass, like the samples that I, that I was showing, um, they have a green tint even when you just look through it normally. So, for example, 
on my fish tank that I always shoot in front of, um, it's a seven foot wide piece of glass that's two feet tall um, on the front. It has to be a certain thickness um, to be able to actually hold up to the force of the water behind it. As you get into bigger tanks, I think the benefit of low iron glass definitely goes up because the glass is getting thicker. I hope this video was interesting. Let me know if you have any questions about low iron glass, starfire glass. Um, I'm happy to answer anything that I, that I can find. Um, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give me some feedback. I love hearing from you all and I will see you next week. Bye.